Crate Search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Every single week, Lady Ada uses her power of engineering to help you, yes you, find the things you want on DigiKey.com. Lady Ada, what is a Great Search? Oh, wait. Okay, so last week we talked about stepper motor drivers, and I've actually been doing more design with these stepper motor drivers, like this one, the TMC2209. I'm going to do the one that we did last week, which was the DRV something something. But um, we were showing off some of these designs on social media, um, the TMC2130, and we got a really good suggestion from our friend of the fruit, uh, Trammell Hudson. And he's like, well, why don't you make a version that um, mounts on the back of a stepper motor? And in this case, he said NEMA 23. Um, again, I think he's a standard um, motor size that's used in CNC and 3D printing and maybe like, you know, other motion control devices. NEMA 23 doesn't refer to like the strength of the motor, like the torque or the number of, um, you know, uh, steps per rotation. It only means the size of the motor. So he's just saying in general, like, hey, have it go on the back of a stepper. And here he's got some design. It's got like USB, a um, microcontroller, and then it looks like there's like some stepper driver on the back here. Um, and it bolts onto the back. There's usually mounting holes. And it's a good idea because if you think about it, um, it actually reminded me, I saw this design earlier this year, this is from earlier last year, which was like a cutie pie holder that had a Trinamic 2209 and, um, you know, it's a little USB microcontroller on there with like a SAMD21 or RP2040, I don't know exactly which one, and then you could control it directly. And the reason this is a good idea, um, that's like, I was like, ooh, nice, is normally you'd have these really long wires that would extend through... Um, you know, you'd have like one board that has your like, you know, G-code converter with all like the steppers and then you have these long wires that go through the body of your 3D printer or CNC and those wires are carrying like a ton of current and the voltage is usually not that high. Sometimes it's like, you know, five or six volts that you're using, but very, very high current. Um, and so, you know, especially with micro stepping where there's just like this PWM and yeah, they're going to do some spread spectrum stuff, but still, um, there's a potential for a lot of current voltage loss, power loss over the wires, because they're usually also not that thick. And also, um, you have the strain of these like long wires going everywhere, and uh, you have to like do a lot of cable routing. Wouldn't it be cool if the stepper driver mounted on the back? And I, you know, we were talking about the TMC2209. In particular, this one's kind of fun because it has a UART interface. So it's like, oh, maybe you could have like a Dynamixel type connector interface for some, I don't know, you could control it. Um, you know, with, with a little chain connector. And then all you have to do is do distribution for your power lines, which would be the same two power lines that go everywhere. So it'd be, you know, you just tap into them. Uh, so that might be an interesting design decision for if you're doing a lot of motors and you want to have them like be remotely controllable. I've seen a couple other, I think I saw like a Kickstarter or something for like a Wi-Fi stepper motor or something. So it's, it's an interesting idea. Maybe I'll do one with USB PD so you'd have power delivery, and so you could get, uh, you could use your power delivery device for powering your motors. Um, I, you know, it's been a while since there's a lot of stepper stuff, but this is, uh, oh, it's kind of cool. And this is the, the TMC we talked about before. Um, so I thought I'd show, you know, you can actually get stepper motors on DigiKey, and I'll show a bunch of them, like, you know, you really want to pick the specifications for which one you want, but I'll just show you, you know, how to quickly find them and um, some tips, so. Stepper motor, I'll say that they don't have like thousands of different stepper motor types. They have about like 800, and then if you look for only the active ones um, that are normally stocking, it's like 500. Um, there's a couple different types of stepper motors. There's unipolar and there's bipolar, and this is like a unipolar when we see the five connectors. These are geared, they're very low cost but they're not appropriate for like precision motion. And also like you, you, they're, they're meant to be, they're already geared inside. So they're like very high torque, but they're very slow. Um, you're never gonna get high speed out of them. And then, you know, they stock one of our motors is kind of a standard off the shelf, you know, 12 volt stepper runs, I think like 600 milliamps or something. You want one with four wires um, at the end. Um, here's another unipolar one, but we want a bipolar. So let's look at bipolar because the stepper motor drivers we're talking about only have a you know, bipolar connection. And also, if you're doing, like kind of advanced control, you, you have a more expensive bipolar connector. Next up, under um, steps per revolution, 
Uh, this also has to do, you know, it's it's basically how many of the um, like magnets inside, how, how are they interfaced. In general, you're gonna want something like 24 is really low, two is kind of ridiculous. You want something like, we you know, 100 to maybe 400. That's pretty common for doing, again, CNC and robotics type applications. And um, then the step angle is related to that, you know, the, the each step per revolution, you're going, probably gonna get 1.8 because that's 200. The current and the voltage rating, I'll say one thing that confused me about this was like, what do you mean? Does that mean you, you have to drive it at 1.4 volts? It actually has more to do with, if you were just to like connect a voltage directly to it without doing any current limiting, the current limiting is actually kind of more important for how you drive the motors. And that's why um, all these motor drivers that we're looking at, they have current sensing and they will adjust. You, you tweak to adjust to make sure you don't overdrive the motors um, and overheat them. Um, you, know, connect, you get different connectors. And then um, the mounting hole spacing, the NEMA frame size, like we mentioned, that tells you, uh, like I'll just look at eight really fast. Um, that tells you how big, I think it's in centimeters, the motor is. So like, it, this is like, it's so tiny. It's like a tiny cute, these adorable little stepper motors. Um, used when you have like a very small CNC. Maybe you don't need a lot of torque. You know, we stock a, a NEMA 8. Um, they're adorable. This one has encoders in it, so it's gonna be much more expensive. And it's another thing, you can choose whether you want encoders or not. Um, most people don't use encoders. You can actually, a lot of the stepper drivers will tell you when a step occurred. Like they can use the um, uh, back EMF, like the, the, the current draw, and they'll tell you like, did the motor actually do something or is it stalled? And you can use that to to determine um, whether it's stepped. Um, but you can also, of course, if you want precision, have a uh, separate encoder. One thing I thought would be cool to show is um, Palolo actually has a lot of stepper motors available uh, through DigiKey and they, uh, it's marketplace, but like Polo ships are really, really fast. So it's, you're gonna get it about as quickly as you would get it from DigiKey. Um, they have like a very good shipping system and they are like really good at motors and motor control again they kind of like invented the idea of having the step stick so definitely like when people ask me like where to get motors steppers dc i always say like go to polo loop because they have a trillion different things um and you can now buy them through digikey so in this case uh this you know nema 17 i think i think it's just like 1.7 inch by, let me see the mounting. Yeah, the this, this size and dimension is 1.7 inch by 1.7. That's what the 17 in NEMA 17 means. Um, and they also have tutorial on how to use stepper motors as well. So I recommend, and they, this is you know the one they have the most in stock of at DigiKey, so I'm not too worried about if you need motors for your big project, you need three motors or four motors per machine and you want to build like 200, uh, you'll actually be able to get 600 motors from DigiKey immediately. So um, check out the stepper motors available from DigiKey and Pololu.